They speak many myths of a legendary Pokemon called Gyarados. Today, we're gonna try and find him. But we're probably not, because he's really rare and yeah, it's not happening. But we are going to the Gold Coast, so it should be good fun. Hopefully a lot of Magic Ups, hopefully a lot of awesome water type Pokemon. Let's see how we go. Alrighty guys, my video recording is not working right now, but there is a Gyarados, not very far away. He's got 12 seconds left. We're just, we're... Yeah, he's got two seconds, he's gone. We missed him, we missed him by a minute. We were on the highway, and there was a wild Gyarados somewhere on the way there. I can't believe it, that's the first time I've seen one. I should have checked my map earlier. All right, now it's onto the Gold Coast. Feels bad, man, feels bad. All right, so we've just arrived at the Gold Coast, and it looks like we're gonna be hitting up this other nest on the east coast of Australia. It is an Electabuzz nest, and we haven't caught any Electabuzz yet, so I'd like to get a new Pokemon, and uh, just having a look at the beach, there seems to be a lot of Almanites and Kabutos, which are really sick. And of course, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about when I say a nest, I definitely suggest looking at my other video where I talk about and explain nests and uh, the website that you can use to find them. I only need three more Kabutos and I can get myself a Kabutops, which is like one of my favorite Pokemon out of the first generation. So I'm really looking forward to him. And uh, hopefully, I mean, I just can't believe it on the way in. We saw that Gyarados, it kind of crushed my dreams, but uh, I'd be down to grind up a little bit of this Magikarp as well. And uh, hopefully maybe look at getting near the, uh, the Gyarados and just under 200 candies at the moment. And on that topic as well guys, I actually found out that there is a Dratini nest somewhere in Sydney. So, I'm not saying I'm gonna catch a flight to Sydney and go catch Dratinis to get a Dragonite, but if it happens, it happens. <laughs> because that's just too damn good to give up. Like, Dragonite? That's, yeah. Let me know if you think I should do it. Alright, so we've just arrived at the Southport Golf Course. And uh, I think we're gonna have to go undercover here. There's a lot of people playing golf. So we're thinking of renting a golf cart and going around looking for pokes. Um, Electabuzz nest here should find a lot of them. But uh, yeah, this should be interesting. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a cool episode. Okay, so that's us right here. And if you look over to the right, there is an Electabuzz smack bang in the middle of the golf course. So, we either go in and catch this Electabuzz or we wait for another one on the edge. But if they get mad at us, we'd be like, we're quite, it's an Electabus nest. Like, we don't get to choose. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately, because we couldn't get the golf buggies, probably gonna be a while until we get an Electabuzz. So we're gonna have to go rogue out here. Nothing but Doduo so far. It's a perfect place to catch Pokemon. Beautiful landscape and all that. All right, just got a minute and a half left. We're here to play golf. But we're actually here to catch the Electabuzz. Yesterday, it was the Magnemites. And uh, yes, yeah, the other half the electrical power plant, the Electabuzzes. We're here coming along the side, so yeah. we gotta go in. Left. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Do it for the pokes? Do it for the pokes. How far out are we? How... Oh, he's up! He's up! He's here! He's here! He's here! He's here. Electabuzz! Here we go, we go, we got him. Alright, let's catch this bad boy. We, we oh, did it for the pokes. Did it for the pokes. Alright, come on. Only 540, which isn't exactly the greatest, um, but it's a new Pokemon, no Ultra Balls here. All right, let's go that curve. Bangers. All right, nice shot. Uh, now we're gonna... Hold on, under us. Come on, let's get the selectables and get the fudge out of here. Come on. All right, locked and loaded. Now let's get out of here, boys. We came and we conquered. Take that. Ooh. So we got a live egg hatching here. It's only a 2K egg, so the only thing I want out of this is a Charmander to go ahead and evolve into a Charmeleon and Magikarp. Actually, you know what? I'll take this as well because we are, you know, needing those candies. Only seven of them, though. That's not exactly ideal. Do you guys see this level CP74 Kingla? Like, please, that was a horrible throw. One-handed. Beach is certainly lit for Magikarp, so we're gonna hit it up. I think it was left. No, I think it was right. Alright, a little beach magic up. The one of many that we're gonna have to catch today. One of many. Come oh, on, man, he's just beach. He's beach stands, bro. I can't seem to catch him. Oh, look at that. He jumped right over the Pokeball. Cheeky little one. Alright, there we go. Magic up on lockdown. So we have to catch about 
way, way too many magic ups need to be caught if we want to get Gyarados by the end of today. But we're gonna try our best. We just can't seem to get in the water here. Um, so I'm gonna put him out of his misery. So actually, no, I'm not gonna waste it. So if I, well, here's a high level magic up there. Oh baby, be nice to me. Nice curveball. Come on. Easy magic up. We need to catch so many of these guys. It's unreal. And no way! Alright, come on. Magic up, please. That's a good throw. Come on, here we go. And save him from the seagulls. Seagulls gonna eat him otherwise. There we go. Magic up's on lockdown. So yeah, we're probably gonna go ahead. Try to catch as many as we can. It's gonna take a while though. So, why do you visit here, Gold Coast? Uh, play Pokemon. Uh, the weather and the beach. Oh, thank you. Alright, so as you guys know, in the last episode, we got an Ekans out of the egg at the end of it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna power up this guy just a little bit before we evolve him. Hopefully gonna try and get uh, somewhere on the tier of like a thousand level arm up or whatnot, so it should be pretty exciting. I'm gonna keep it that, I don't wanna max him out too much because it is very expensive in the starter, so I'm gonna keep it that. I'll do one more, we'll do one more. We've built up a lot of starters and I'm gonna use them. Uh, it's tough. Actually, wait up. We're nearly level 22, so I think I'm gonna evolve some like, uh, wheels first before we do this, actually, because that way I can hit a higher level armor. All right, so I've gone ahead and hit level 22, but you don't actually get your reward until you earn a little bit more of XP. Also, a little fun fact as well, if a Pokemon runs away from you, you get, I think, 50 XP. You can't run away from it, though. It has to run away from you. Um, then you it's just like a little, I guess, complimentary XP you get from a Pokemon running away. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna try and catch, oh, you ran away. All right, so there's the XP. And hopefully now I should come down my reward. It might have happened when I accidentally crashed just then, um, which it looks like it did. So that's a little unfortunate. I haven't seen my reward in ages. So that kind of sucks. But we're going to my items here. I got some stock ups and some ultra balls. And uh, yeah, I don't think I got anything else. Maybe an egg even better. So that's pretty cool. I think it's time to evolve the seconds, guys. Let's do it. 500 CP Ekans. Let's see what we can get. I'm hoping for. 1200, 1300 Arbok, that would be pretty ideal. Um, either way, it's a new Pokemon, we're gonna get 1000 XP for it. And uh, I'm just excited, level 22 now, so I think it's 150,000 XP to the next level, so it's gonna be pretty hard to get. But there we go, there's our boy Arbok, brand new Pokemon, looking cool. And Arbok, of course, backwards is Cobra, so we got ourselves a nice little Cobra. 1100, a little on the low side, but uh, that's fine. I'm pushing him kind of way to that CP on him, or the Stardust, I should say. I don't believe it, guys. There's a carpet top somewhere nearby, but there's three step glitch still, and I have no idea where it is. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Okay, so it looks like this carpet top has showed up on the PokeVision map. Um, so it looks like we're gonna go down the beach. He's about five minutes away. He's got 10 minutes left on his timer. This will be a close one, and I'm actually almost got enough candy to evolve carpet top, but uh, you know, just see if I can find like a high level 1000, 1500 would be enough for me. So let's go see what level he is. Do it. Carpet tops, the best carpet tops. What level is he? Just under a thousand. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's do it. Here we go. Raspberry up. Let's do it. And Ultra Ball. So, brand new Pokemon. I see my lucky egg. Oh, wow. All right, buddy. Looks like my lucky egg just ran out. So, that's a little disappointing. Come on. Here we go. Let's see if he bounces. One. No. Oh, come on, carpet tops. Be nice to me. Oh, okay. You better not get away from me yet. Come on. That looks like a great shot there. Seems to be too effective. Come on, carpet tops. Carpet tops, here we go. One, there's one. There's two. Come on, give me that third. There it is. Best carpet tops on the server so far. But it does look like a lucky egg did run out. Second Evo fossil Pokemon. Pokemon, can I be in your vlog? Sure thing. What? Do you guys have Pokemon Go? Yes, yes, yes. There's a the carpet tops right here. Is that actually? Yes, I just oh, put it. Look at this guy. He's right here, right now. No way, man. Yeah. He's right here. He's like literally right here. So if you got your phone out, I'd go out and catch oh, it right now. Yeah. All right, you guys have a good one. We're going to get you catch the Pokemon. Jumped out of uh, the shops, jump on PokeVision, Blastoid. But. You said Blastoid? Yeah, isn't that it's one? Blastoid. <laughs> it's Blast what? Blast toys, like as if he's got toys. Alright, sorry. Toys. So Blast toys. Yeah. A minute and we are probably... Three minutes. Yeah, three or four minutes away. 
Sad. I, we should have checked it sooner, man. That's a sad day for a boss toy. Alrighty, guys. So, we're going to wrap up today's episode right there. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and evolve our very own carbon tops. So just before we left, we caught another one as well. It was actually level 420. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and trade in these guys over here. I'm going to trade this one in. I'm going to level up the other carbon tops one level before I evolve him. Uh, I could trade in the other ones, but I want to keep one just in case. I'm going to power him up right here. 2.5k Stardust. He's got 60 level 634. Now I'm hoping this will top the other carbon tops that we caught on the beach earlier today. Two carbon tops in one episode. But I just want to get a really, really high level one. That's all I want. Oh, no, I accidentally hit power up. On the other one. On the wrong one. Alrighty, well, remember when I said I was going to keep one? Yeah, I lied. Alright, looks like we're, I, I messed that up so badly. That sucks, because now he's not going to be as powerful as I want him to be. But that's whatever. Let's go ahead and let's not misclick this. He's level 634, evolving this bad boy. Higher than 900, and I have to beat that what I just got out of that. Shush birds, we're evolving carbon tops. Please leave me alone. But yeah, it's been an absolute great day of Pokemon Go catching. I hope you guys did go on to enjoy this episode. And here we go. Hopefully, the best carbon tops we can get right now. Fresh level 22. Oh, he's such a cool Pokemon, dude. All right, what are we going to get here? Coming in now. Please don't hide your CP. Like, yep. He, okay, he's not hiding it, but 1,232. Yeah, uh, you know, good 200 levels on the other guy, but uh, definitely an awesome carbon tops. And I am happy with that boy right there. So hope you guys did go and enjoy the episode. Once again, if you guys did, let me know the like rating down below. Of course, if you want to pick up some limited edition gold t-shirt merch, link will be in the description as well. I'll see you guys next time. Later, guys. How do you feel about today's session? Uh, you know, look, um, it was a tough day. It was a tough drive, hour out. But I'm happy with how we succeeded in catching a lot of water-type Pokemon, especially the Carbotops. I have to be very thankful for uh, the app called Pokevision because none of this would have been possible without him. So... Great, What's great. Up? And I, uh, I remember today you mentioned you were looking for that Gyarados. How'd you end up with that? Look, it didn't exactly, you know, come to fruition uh, as much as I wanted it to. But uh, I like to think, you know, we, you know, got a step further on the, on the candy grind and uh, hopefully be looking at a Magikarp evolution sometime soon. Great. Thank you for your time, Lachlan. Yeah, Have a great night. Have a good one. Yeah, yeah.